Hey, how's it going? Rich Lee here, and today I'm going to be looking at the 10 sweatiest, speediest players in FIFA 15. Okay, so at number 10 then, we got the Arsenal player, Rio Miyachi. And um, yeah, he's Japanese, right mid. He was a right winger last year, but he's changed position to right midfield this year. And um, yeah, he's gone down from a 71 overall to a 67 overall, which I think is a bit harsh because he's only 21 years old. But he's never really been given a chance, so I guess, like, uh, I suppose it's fair enough. Plus, he's changed position from right wing to right midfield. So, um... Yeah, that probably explains the rating to an extent, to be fair, because he's probably got better stats for a right winger than a right midfielder, but yeah. Also, in FIFA 14, they didn't change his stats at all from FIFA 13, so that was incredibly lazy. And um, yeah, at least this time, they've actually gone to the effort of actually changing his stats up a bit. Okay, so his pace then has remained the same at 94. His shooting's gone up from a 53 to a 55. His passing stayed the same at 58. His dribbling has gone down from a 78 to a 75. His defending's gone down from a 34 to a 24, and his heading, with now changed to physical, has gone from a 39 to a 40. Okay, so for someone who's six foot tall, his heading was incredibly bad, and he's also not very physical whatsoever. So um, yeah, although he's incredibly speedy, you'll often find that if you run with the ball with him, if you even get slightly touched, it'll just completely fall over. I found that last year playing with him in Wigan in the uh, career mode. And um, yeah, he's a bit annoying to play with, to be honest. Like, I quite enjoyed playing with him at times, but he was in too weak and he just kept falling over. So that was definitely a pitfall of his game. But yeah, he's the 10th quickest player in the game anyway. And um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. One thing I will note, though, is that he's listed here as an Arsenal player, but he's actually on loan at FC Twente at the moment. I think his Arsenal career might be over, to be honest, because he's never really been given a chance there. And um, yeah, now he's been shipped out to FC Twente on loan. So they'll see how he does there, I suppose. But he hasn't actually played for them yet, I don't think. But yeah, he should be given an FC20 card at the start of the game, which therefore means that he might not be particularly well used in FIFA 15. I think if he's got a BPL card, then more people will use him for like silver squads. Uh, but if he's in the Dutch league, then yeah, I don't think too many people will be using him, to be honest, because I don't think that's a particularly popular league within the game. And um, yeah, he's an okay silver, but no, I've seen a lot better, to be honest. And yeah, if you're looking for a right winger that's speedy, you can definitely do a lot better than me, actually, I'd say. But yeah, like, he, he's alright. He's the 10th fastest player in the game anyway. I sort of had fun at times playing with him on Wigan, but he also frustrated me a lot. So, yeah, if you like speedy players but aren't, aren't too worried about your players falling over all the time, then, yeah, take a look at Miyachi. But, yeah, he, he's a bit annoying, to be honest. A bit frustrating. Does amazing stuff, but then he just stacks it, and you just think, why? Why, Miyachi? Why are you so inconsistent? So, um, yeah, if you want to be frustrated, take a look at this guy. Okay, so the ninth fastest player in the game, then, is... Vancouver Whitecaps player Kakuta Manor and um, yeah he's actually gone down a rating this year from a 62 to a 61 he's gone from a left winger to a left midfielder though so I guess that's why he's changed like his ratings changed I don't think his stats are really any worse in fact they look a bit better to be honest okay so his pace has gone up from a 91 to a 94 his shooting has gone up from a 58 to a 62 his passing has gone down from a 50 to a 49 his dribbling has gone up from a 64 to a 69 defending has gone down from a 41 to a 34 and with heading now changed to physical attribute, he's gone from a 55 to a 52. Okay, so I don't really know much about this guy, to be honest. I don't really watch much MLS football. But yeah, he's got amazing pace on him. Uh, looks like a pretty decent card, to be honest, for a bronze player. And um, yeah, like I say, he's only 19 years old. He got an inform in FIFA 14, so he's obviously showing some sort of potential. And um, yeah, I think it's a bit harsh, really, to lower his rating, given that he's so young, showed potential. And um, yeah, obviously I don't follow the MLS week in, week out, so I can't say, oh yeah, that's that's terrible, he should be a lot higher. But yeah, I, I don't know much about this guy, but I do think it's a bit harsh. And I do think that if he was in a uh, more popular league, then he'd probably have his rating pushed up a fair few points rather than pushed down by one. So yeah, there you go. Okay, so at number eight, then we've got the Saudi Arabian mid right midfielder, Fahad al Mawalad. And um, yeah, he's, he's Saudi Arabian, like I say, plays in the Saudi league. So yeah, I don't know how many people would really be using him. But yeah, he's, this is also the first time he's going to be appearing in FIFA Ultimate Team, so there's no previous stats to compare with. But yeah, he's got 94 for pace, 65 for shooting, 59 for passing, 70 for dribbling, 39 for defending, and 66 for physicality. And um, yeah, three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. And he's also five foot six tall, so pretty damn small, but yeah. So um, he's 20 years old. And, um, yeah, like I say, I, I don't think too many people will be using him in FIFA 15, so this may well be the first and last that you see of Fahad al Mawalad in FIFA 15. Okay, so at number seven, then we've got Cedric Mabwati, and, um, yeah, he's out on loan in the Spanish second division this season, so I don't know if many people particularly use him. 
So he's got 94 pace on him anyway, 4 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves and yeah looks like a fairly decent left midfielder within the game. So last year he was a 72 rated, he's gone down for 69 this year which is pretty harsh on a 22 year old to dropping down three ratings in one year. But there you go, I've not really seen much of him in reality so I can't really comment on whether that's fair or harsh but there you go. His paces remain the same at 94, his shooting has gone down from a 54 to a 53, his passing has gone up from a 59 to a 60. His dribbling has gone down from a 76 to a 74. His defending has gone down from a 45 to a 31. And with heading now changed to a physical attribute, he's gone up from a 58 to a 67. Okay, so like I said before, I don't really know much about this guy in reality. But yeah, he's playing out in the Spanish second division now. So I don't know if he'll be particularly well used in this game. But yeah, he's got some fairly alright stats on him anyway. Amazing pace on him. And um, yeah, four star weak foot, which is always handy. And um yeah, it looks like he might be an okay player to run with, but yeah, other than his dribbling and his pace, he hasn't really got particularly great stats on him, to be honest. Like, that shooting is particularly awful. And yeah, he doesn't look too impressive for a silver card, to be honest, but yeah, he's the seventh fastest player anyway. And yeah, Cedric Mugwati then is the seventh fastest player in FIFA 15. Okay, so at number six, then we've got a player that everyone will be wanting to pick up in FIFA 15, and that's Real Madrid's Welsh sensation, Gareth Bale. Now, he's remained an 87 rating this year, which is the same as last year, but he's moved from a centre forward out to right midfield. And, um, yeah, his pace has gone up from a 93 to a 94. His shooting has gone down from an 84 to an 83. His passing has gone up from an 82 to an 83. His dribbling has remained the same at 84. His defending has gone down from a 74 to a 63. And with heading now changed to a physical attribute, he's gone up from a 74 to an 81. Now, like I said before, this is a player that everyone's going to want to pick up in FIFA 15 because he's going to be worth an absolute fortune in FIFA Ultimate Team. And um, yeah, rightly so. Look at those stats on him. They're absolutely amazing. Obviously, he's got amazing pace, but he's just generally well-rounded and should be an absolutely awesome right midfielder to play with. And um, yeah, he also happens to be the sixth fastest player in the game, which can't do him any harm. So um, yeah, Gareth Bale looks absolutely awesome again in FIFA 15. And yeah, with those amazing stats that he's got on him, he should be an absolutely awesome player to play with in FIFA 15. Okay, so heading into the top five then, and we have got another MLS bronze beast in the form of Dominic Aduro. And um, yeah, he plays for Toronto FC out in Canada at the moment. He's been kicking about in the MLS for some years, but yeah, now he's at Toronto. And um, yeah, he's gone from a silver last year to a bronze this year, which to be honest, makes him look better than ever before, to be honest. Like, yeah, his pace has gone up from a 94 to a 95. His shooting's gone up from a 60 to a 63. His passing's gone up from a 44 to a 50. His dribbling has gone down from a 66 to a 63. His defending has gone down from a 42 to a 37. And with heading now changed to a physical attribute, he's gone up from a 61 to a 64. Okay, so like I said before, like changing from a silver to a bronze makes him a much more attractive proposition, to be honest, than FIFA 15. Like, he's a pretty poor silver player. But yeah, now that he's dropped down to a bronze, he's got some awesome stats on him. His pace, his shooting, and his passing have all improved, which to be honest, I'd say makes him a better striker than he was before even. So yeah, even though he's now a bronze rather than a silver, he's now an awesome bronze rather than a terrible silver. And um, yeah, he should fit in really nicely into a bronze beast squad and should be a lot of fun to play with in FIFA 15. Okay, so at number four then, we've got a player that I'm sure you're all aware of by now. And that is Dor Borussia Dortmund player Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now, he's changed positions this year from a striker to a right midfielder. But yeah, he's got even better shooting this year and he's just as quick. So yep, you're going to run into this guy a lot probably again in FIFA 15. And um, yeah, he should cause a lot of problems for teams this year in FIFA Ultimate Team. Okay, so his pace has remained the same at 95. His shooting's actually gone up from a 76 to a 79, which is absolutely amazing now that he's changed position. Like you'd expect that he'd gone down because he's no longer a striker. But nope, his shooting has actually gone up from a 76 to a 79. His passing has gone up from a 73 to a 74. His dribbling has remained the same at 78. His defending has gone down from a 55 to a 38. And I've heading now changed to a physical attribute. He's gone from a 76 to a 68. Okay, so as I said before, you've probably all heard of him by now. He's absolutely amazing in FIFA 14. And he looks like he'll possibly be an even better specimen in FIFA 15. Just He's got even better shooting. He's got the same pace on him. And um, yeah, cutting inside with him in the FIFA 15 demo. I had a lot of fun with him. And um, yeah, he just looks like a really awesome player again in FIFA 15. Just as he was in FIFA 14. Like, his pace is still ridiculous. His shooting is better than ever. And, um, yeah, I think that if you play with Aubameyang in FIFA 15, then you'll have a lot of fun with him. And, yeah, I definitely recommend playing with this player in FIFA 15. Okay, so on to the third fastest player in the game then, and that's Jonathan Biabiani of the Serie A side, Palmer. 
Now, he was an 80-rated right winger last year. He's gone down to a 79-rated this year. Still a right winger. Still ridiculously pacey. And, um, yeah, looks like he'll be incredibly overused again in FIFA 15, just as he was in FIFA 14. Okay, so his pace has remained the same at 96. His shooting's remained the same at 66. His passing's gone down from a 72 to a 70. His dribbling has gone down from an 83 to an 82. His defending has gone down from a 50 to a 36. And with heading now changed to a physical attribute, he's gone up from a 62 to a 66. Okay, so in FIFA 14, he's a massively overused winger. Nothing's really changed, to be honest. His stats will remain pretty similar. He's still ridiculously pacey. He's still got amazing dribbling on him. And um, yeah, this French winger should be a lot of fun to play with in FIFA 15 again, just as he was in FIFA 14. Okay, so we've arrived at the second fastest player in FIFA 15 then, and that is Arsenal's Theo Walcott. Now, he's changed position this year from a right winger to a right midfielder. He's remained an 81 rating, and yeah, his pace has remained the same at 96. His shooting has actually gone up from a 72 to a 77. His passing has gone up from a 71 to a 75. His dribbling has gone up from an 80 to an 81. His defending has gone down from a 46 to a 33. With heading now changed to a physical attribute, he's gone up from a 55 to a 64. So even though his rating has remained the same at 81, I'd say that Theo Walcott's going to be even better to play with this year. And yeah, he's kept the same pace, his shooting's gone up, his dribbling has improved, and um, yeah, his passing has improved as well. So yeah, I can see this guy being a lot of fun to play with in FIFA 15. And um, yeah, I can see him being incredibly overused, and he'll probably be pretty expensive at the start just because of his overall stats. And, um, yeah, he looks like a pretty fun player to play with, to be honest, in FIFA 15. And, um, yeah, if I run a BPL team in FIFA 15, then Theo Walcott is definitely going to be one of the right wingers that I end up picking up in the game. Okay, so I've now arrived at the fastest player in FIFA then, and that is once again the Ivory Coast winger, Mattis Bolly. Now, I thought he might be given a pace downgrade this year, to be honest, because he only had a 95 pace in the World Cup game. Yep, only 95. Disappointing. But, um, yeah, in, in, the, in his regular card this year, he has once again kept 97 pace, which is absolutely incredible. And, um, yeah, he's also changed from a silver to a bronze. So he's gone from being an average silver card to an absolutely sensational-looking bronze card. Now, like I say, his pace has remained the same at 97. His shooting's actually gone up from a 56 to a 61. His passing's gone up from a 54 to a 55. His dribbling has gone down from a 67 to a 65. His defending has gone down from a 40 to a 30. With heading now changed to a physical attribute, he's gone up from a 56 to a 59. And so yeah, like I said before, he's changed to a bronze player this year, and I think that's done him a massive favour, because he's gone from being a pretty unusable silver player to an absolutely awesome bronze player, and he should be an amazing addition to any bronze beast team within FIFA 15. Okay, so that's that then, that is the top 10 fastest players in FIFA 15. There's a couple of players that look a bit ropey there, but a lot of them look absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, some of these guys should be a lot of fun to play with in FIFA 15. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.